Oh, hello. Today we are gonna do a reaction video because I recently remembered that about a year ago, maybe a little bit more, I did a video talking about book series that I wanted to start. And I do not remember what all I put on that list. I had no accountability to that or any kind of like, ooh, I should go back and read these or like, this is really where my, you know, prioritization is going to be uh, in terms of starting different series. So I thought it might be interesting for us to just do a reaction, a, like a, a cold reaction. I have no memory of what is on this list. So I thought it might be fun for us to see how many of these I actually have started in that last year or however long. And if I'm still interested in starting or reading these series, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea how this is going to go, but I just thought this might be a fun little project. I don't know. Based on how it goes, you guys can let me know if you want me to do maybe like a vlog actually starting some of these. I have a sneaking suspicion that I will not have done a good job <laughs> with this at all. I'm assuming that this is gonna go really badly in terms of things I've actually read. So we'll just find that out together. But yeah, let me grab the video and we'll do a little picture in picture action. And let's see, let's see how this goes. This could be very dark for me, or maybe I'll surprise myself that I actually was correct in saying what I wanted to read because the reality is if I wanted to start these series, I would have started them, probably. Unless life just got in the, anyway, I don't know. Let's just find out together, shall we? And much like, I should say, much like last time we did a reaction video sort of like this, I've got four categories here. We've got series that I've started, read it, and I liked it. Series that I started, but I'm not gonna keep going with. Uh, we've got series I haven't started, but it is still on my TBR. And then series that I haven't started, but I would say at this point it's off my TBR. So let's grab the video and my headphones. We'll get going. Hey, the last time I did a reaction video like this, I was pleasantly surprised with how much I, in fact, had read. So. Maybe that will be what we do today. Ooh. My hair was very voluminous this day. And this is by no means comprehensive because I started writing them down and I was like, oh, I already have like 12, I don't even know. I had like 12 or 15 on this list and I was like, we're just gonna stop here. There's so many I wanna start. If you're thinking to yourself, self, doesn't she have like an entire 2021 project of like reading down <laughs> series? That is accurate. But I, did I have that project? I don't know that I, Oh yeah, I did do that. Not totally, but yeah, okay. I I did that ish books that I needed to get to in series, so it just felt like it was time to sort of counterbalance that a little bit, but some of that is because I have all these other books that I want to Yeah, the struggle is real. I always have more series I want to start than I have time to read. Um, any Nora Roberts ones? Because that's oh, yeah. covered Nora Roberts has about three thousand different series that she has going at any time in our way through this. So first of all, I would like to start oh, the, okay. I don't even know what this series, yes. I don't know what a lot of these series are called. Sometimes it's just going to be the first this. book, the name of it with series. Ooh. So there you go. Um, the Long Way to a Small Angry Planet series. I read this and I did like that book that I've been told by so many people that they think I would enjoy, but I'm not going to keep going in the series. So I know that I know some of y'all are upset about that. So yes, I did read this, but I'm not going to keep going in the series. I I would read more from her. I just don't, I think I got what I wanted from that one book. It was a very good book. Anyway, this is a sci-fi kind of space I'm adventure good. type series <laughs> that gets so much love here on booktube. And I definitely, it's one that I would like to get going on. Another one that I would like to start is the Blessings series from Beverly oh. Jenkins. I got this as a recommendation from Ashley at Bookish Realm. Who's yeah, I haven't started that, but I would, st I do still want that. I've got all of those books on my TBR list at the library still, so I do want to read that going on because I just, I don't know, Beverly Jenkins is so wonderful and I would like to give her contemporaries a try. And that one I believe, by the way, is set in modern day Kansas, but it's in a town that is one of the only surviving townships that were started by. Yeah, that's right. I think this sounds really cool. I don't, I mean, I do know why I've not started it. It's because I have so many other things on my TBR, but at some point I will read it. For Forever is the Mary Russell series, the first one being, and I still have been meaning to start that. I've had this book for like five years and I still haven't read it. 
but I want to. It's Sherlock Holmes fanfic. Come on. Sherlock Holmes, and this is one of the kind of, yeah. kind of sort of like a fan fiction-y type work or spinoff series. One of the ones that I think is considered to be the best. And I love a mystery. So I am definitely intrigued to give this one a try at some point. Next, the Baron the Nightingale series by Catherine Arden. This is I've also not read this, and I still have it as audio. Sure. And it definitely starts with a young person, but I, and I know I'm going to like it. I don't know why I've not started. Well, I keep saying I, I keep saying this. I don't know why I've not started it. I do know. It's because I have so many things on my TBR, too many things on my TBR. I should prioritize this at some point. It's an audiobook, which I think is probably part of why I've not started it. Fantasy novels. And her right. stepmother is Christian, whereas she is in some version of Russia where they are still worshipping the, you know, kind of ancestral gods. And she is trying to move everyone away from that worshipping practice. And our protagonist um, is like Sounds very cool. in tune with the gods. And so, you know, conflict ensues from there. I have the first one as an audiobook, so maybe I will be able to slot that one in yeah. sometime. This I think it's the audio is what has held me back. Whatever, I guess, next. Uh, okay. The Patrick Melrose I read that. series of books. This is a... And I'm not going to continue because <laughs> it was good. And I think that this is like... It was okay. But it was very trauma porn and I just didn't get enough out of it series that was very to very merit continuing because it's just a lot to ask of the reader and this reader didn't enjoy it enough to be asked that of if that makes sense Patrick Melrose's story of abuse addiction and recovery from the age of five into early middle age so we're following one guy over the course of four novels this is I kind of want to read this to like test the waters of where I'm at with this kind of literary fiction because oh look at that yes I finally I read this for a project where I I was doing an experiment so <clears throat> I, I'm just intrigued to give this a try to see where my tastes are with this kind of book at this point yeah that's so interesting yeah I do think it was helpful to orient myself there I believe it's called from N.K. Jemison. I finally read this and I loved it and I will continue. It, it is a, like a hugely lauded fantasy series. All three of the books in the trilogy won the Hugo Award in the year that they came out, if that tells you anything. Yeah, I've got the other two books on my way, on the way to me right now. I'm definitely gonna keep going in that one. Also just wanting to give some space because it was so hyped up that I kind of just wanted to like let it breathe a little bit and then come to it in my own time. But I'm thinking 2021 may be a time for, it wasn't 2021, but 2022. Yeah, we'll see. You have some other big, like, chunky fantasy, like, tomes on my TBR this year, so it may or may not happen, but I am definitely intrigued to get to that. Yeah, I didn't get to it in 2021, but I have read it, and I'm very excited to finish that trilogy. The series I want to start is the Armand Gamache series. Yes. I did read it recently. Like, the main comment that comes up, so don't worry. I have the first one, and I will start with it. I'm just... I did start with the first one. I didn't love it, but I did like it enough that I'll finish. I think I have three other ones on my TBR. Kind of mystery vibes to the way it's described. Oh yeah, yeah, Christy mystery. Well, we've determined that that was somewhat fact. French stuff. Yeah, this this I will keep going then, but I don't know that I loved it. We'll see how I do with the next three. I may or may not start this one this year, but it's definitely on my radar as one I might start this year. And I think most of the rest of these are all fantasy. So one that I'm very intrigued by is uh, Jade City by... Oh, yes, I read that and enjoyed it. I may be wrong on the author. You're looking... I have the next book already, and I will definitely finish that trilogy. Element to it. And I have seen such good things about this series. My friend Jashana, I know, absolutely loves it. And yeah, I'm very intrigued by this one. This is my... I kind of told myself if I could get a couple of the trilogies I've got going in fantasy off of my TBR this year, then I would let myself buy and get started on, on Jade City. Maybe once I finish a couple of the ones I'm... <laughs> Apparently editing Mara was like, yeah, she was not going to buy it, <laughs> but she did anyway. Hey, I did read it, so it didn't just languish there forever, right? And so I have read the oh, yeah. original like Red Sisters of Fools. I do still want to read that. I still have it on my TBR, but I haven't gotten started. I've had more fantasy series come up in the last year that I'm intrigued by, so yeah. This is part of the problem is that I have so many series that are on my radar and then I just never seem to actually get to a lot of them. But I do read a lot of series. I just keep adding to the TBR. 
that's really what the source of problem here is. A little bit, um, which I can see, but so far I've enjoyed what I've read from him. So I'm gonna keep going for now and we'll see if I can keep hanging with him. Then Amberlo by Laura Elena Don. <sighs> I have been trying to read this book for like five years. It is still on my TBR, but I still have not read it. It's in it and it has a lot of queer elements in it. So this is what I'm really intrigued by. Again, I just think I keep getting distracted and that's why that impacted life. So I didn't get to, I don't know. I just keep adding to my TBR and these other ones I've had for a long time just get bumped down. I don't know, we'll, we'll find out. It is definitely on my radar of one I wanna get going with. And then last, uh, the one I thought I'd mention is Walk on Earth, A Stranger Ugh. by- I also have this one and I still haven't read it. A YA fantasy that apparently has a lot of like Western inspired. Yes, it's a YA Western, which is, I enjoy. I'm intrigued to get going with it. It's a little bit older, but I know people still talk about it really warmly. And I do, I just enjoy YA fantasy. It's, I enjoy it. And so I would like to get going on. This. I think I would like this series. I really like YA fantasy Western. I have to get going on all of them, but that's the problem I have too many. I do still, I have, I think I have, oh, I'm doing all three or both of them, or I have a couple of those. And I should some of these and, uh, you know, clear them off my TBR and enjoy them. I'm not just trying to clear them off my TBR. I'm trying to read them because I think I'll like them. But. The struggle is real, girl. Still. These that I'm thinking about starting, there's so many others. Like I said, I got to like however many that was and was like, girl, this is plenty to just. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I didn't, I mean, okay. I didn't do terribly. I had 11 that were in this and of the 11, I had read five of them. So that's nearly 50%, right? Whatever that is, let's see here. Okay, let's do some math like, whoa. So I read five of the 11, so that's 45%. I read 45% of them. The ones that I read, I liked three, so that would be 60% of the ones that I read I liked, and 40%, well, not even just liked, but liked and want to continue. I will continue in 60%, I will not continue in 40%. And I had six that I had not started. So the first books were Bring on the Blessings by Beverly Jenkins, which is like a contemporary women's fiction kind of thing. The Beekeeper's Apprentice by Laurie King, which is a historical mystery. The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Ash Arden, Arden which is a historical fantasy. Ooh, let's see here. Prince of Fools by Mark Lawrence, which is epic fantasy. Amberlo by Laura Elena Donnelly, which is historic, all, historic alternative world kind of fantasy. And Walk on Earth a Stranger by Ray Carson, which is YA Western fantasy. A lot of fantasy that I did not get to, but I did get to, let's see, of the ones that I did read, several of them were fantasy or sci-fi. So I just, I think I have a lot of those series on my TBR and I'm just not always getting to them. So all that to say, not, I did not equip myself as nicely in that as I have in other reaction videos, but let me know. I would be totally interested, totally open to doing a read the first book in this series to decide if it's gonna stay on my TBR kind of project. If you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know. Uh, also, let me know if you want, <laughs> I'm laughing even just saying this. Let me know if you want me to do an updated series that I want to start video. I'm sure I could do that. And then I'm just basically making grist for the mill for a future reaction where I realize that I've not read 55% of the ones I say I wanna read. So, you know, we could just perpetuate the cycle if that's something you guys are interested in. But yeah, that will do it for me for this one. Let me know what you thought of any of the books. Let me know if you are like me and you have a never ending pile of series that you're trying to start and you just never seem to do it. Let me know all that in the comments below. And yeah, I think that that will do it for me. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, follow me on the social means if you are so inclined. I have all that information listed in the description box below. And I think that that will do it. I hope you're having an absolutely lovely day today and I will just talk to you soon. Bye.